Hey, this is John Schneider with Fargo 3D Printing here at CES 2017, and I'm here in the Raise 3D booth with Michael Petticlerk from Raise 3D. So, Michael, uh, the uh, the Raise 3D printer had a really successful Kickstarter last year. Units have started shipping. It looks like you're shipping to your end retail customers now. So, just tell me a little bit about what 2016 has been like for Raise 3D and where things are going in 2017. Well, uh, in 2016, we sold a couple thousand units here in the U.S. alone. Uh, overseas, we sold probably two times more than that at least. Uh, we've been perfectly fine filling all of our backers. Uh, that went off smoothly as, as it could go, actually. Um, as it turns out, with the machines, we've been doing a lot of user upgrades. So we get recommended things every other day about how we should change the format of the printer, how we should change our software, and we implement those changes within a month or so. And typically, it's just improving upon what we already have based. Very cool. So, I know one of the things that has changed this year has been the uh, the hot end. So now the I think all the raised three D printers have a version two hot end. So what's changed from version one to version two? Well, uh, the one key feature that I can't actually mention what has changed uh, is the reason why the V two works. Um, what I can say is that most of the components are the same from the V1. The barrel is the only difference. We've changed the composition of the material we're using. So now, basically, nothing can stick to it unless you really ramp up the temperature. Is that a material you're able to expand on? I'm not entirely sure, so I'll leave it, I'll leave it as we can put it in later. OK, fair enough. So 2017, just looking to continue to add in those user-suggested improvements, just making uh, minor refinement, refinements, that sort of thing. No plans for any new machine or any major upgrades? Not a new machine, but there will be uh, expansion upgrades later. So right now, what we've already told our users uh, on the forums and everywhere else is that we do have a filament monitoring system that we're uh, going to start working on. Uh, it should come out uh, first quarter 2017, so in the next few months and that will help with the loss of prints. So right now, we can obviously resume our prints when we lose power, but if you lose your filament feed for any reason where the filament jams or the filament just runs out, then you've lost the print without knowing it. So we're gonna try to fix that. We've got a new module that should be plug and play for everyone who currently owns a printer and all new printers. And we also have been working on the potential of a filtering system, which would be an active filter inside of the unit so you're not losing any of your heat. That one does not have a to-be-determined date yet, but it is still something that is currently in the works. Very cool. Well, yeah, it definitely sounds like 2017 is going to be going to be another good year for Raise 3D. Looking very forward to, uh, to seeing how everything goes. So on behalf of myself, well, Michael, I want to thank you. And from CES 2017, thanks for watching. Not, every, not everybody's on LinkedIn. I am, but I don't know if I've updated it in like the last three months. That's fine. Okay, I'm getting glare. That's